At the heart of the Russian Empire, in the quaint village of Pokorskoye, a man named Grigory Rasputin was born into a humble peasant family in 1869. Little did the world know that this unassuming man would later become one of the most controversial and influential figures in Russia's history. Rasputin's enigmatic persona and his alleged possession of supernatural powers would captivate the attention of the Russian elite, including Tsar Nicholas II and, as the wife, Serena Alexandra. Rasputin's rise to prominence began when he met Serena Alexandra in 1905. The Tsarevich Alexei, their only son, had been diagnosed with hemophilia, a potentially fatal disease. Desperate for a cure, Alexandra sought Rasputin's help, believing in his ability to heal her son through mystical means. Whether it was Rasputin's cunning manipulation or his genuine connection with the young prince, his influence over the Tsarina grew stronger, leading to widespread and speculation about the nature of their relationship. Rasputin's unorthodox methods and proximity to the royal family soon raised eyebrows within the Russian court. His unpredictable behavior, excessive drinking, and rumored sexual escapades fueled rumors and painted him as a sinister character. Rasputin's association with a secret religious sect known as the Clists, infamous for their orgiastic rituals, further deepened the intrigue surrounding him. As World War I engulfed Europe, Rasputin's involvement in political affairs grew. He claimed to have the ability to predict the outcome of battles and offered advice to the Tsar, despite having no military expertise. This meddling in matters of state and his influence over the Tsarina made him a target for those seeking to remove him from power. The climax of Rasputin's controversial life came on the fateful night of December 29, 1916. A group of nobles led by Prince Felix Yusupov conspired to eliminate Rasputin, fearing his harmful influence over the royal family. Inviting him to Yusupov's palace, they lured him into the basement, where they poisoned him with cyanide-laced wine. Remarkably, Rasputin showed no signs of distress and continued to enjoy the poisoned drink. Panicked by Rasputin's resilience, Yusupov shot him in the chest, yet Rasputin still refused to succumb to his injuries. Finally, they decided to bind him and throw him into an icy river, ensuring his demise. Rasputin's body was discovered days later, and his death sent shockwaves throughout Russia. The mystique surrounding his alleged invincibility only grew, perpetuating the enigma of Rasputin. In the aftermath of Rasputin's death, the Russian Empire plunged into further chaos, ultimately leading to the nation's revolution. The downfall of the Romanov dynasty and the rise of the Bolsheviks marked the end of an era with Rasputin symbolizing both the corruption of the monarchy and mysticism that plagued Russian society at the time. Even a century later, the enigmatic dirty secrets of Rasputin continue to intrigue and mystify historians and enthusiasts alike.